Hey guys, welcome back. Today I have a Target haul. I went in there for one thing. I went to go see if they had the new e.l.f. powder puff. I don't know if you guys seen it on Instagram, but I wanted it so bad and I've checked literally like six Targets and they're not in stores. So that's originally why I wanted to go to Target and of course they have fall decor out now, so I was super excited. I also went with Jasmine, Juicy Jazz, my bestie, and we just went and did a little Target run. If you guys wanna to subscribe to my channel, I do post weekly so you guys can hit the subscribe button. If you wanna follow me over on my Instagram, it is at blissfulbree with an underscore and I always have it somewhere on the video, so go ahead and check that out. And without any more rambling, we're getting right into this Target haul because I am so excited to share with you. A lot of them are super random but there's a few fall things in here that really caught my eye that I needed so some of these are just gonna be like random things restocks of things so let's get into it so first thing I picked up is this cute little tray that is wooden and I absolutely love it it has these little pegs at the bottom I love the way this is designed the way it's structured I'm not sure what I'm gonna do with it just yet this is in the bullseye area and this was five bucks I just needed it. I just love that little detail right there. I'm not sure maybe my coffee bar. I love the length of it and just everything about it. But that dollar spot bullseye area draws me in every time. I swear I'll go to like multiple targets just for the dollar spot. Like I swear each one is different. It's hit or miss and they all carry the same things but different times. I just have to go to like seven of them, especially for seasonal fall or Christmas. So this screamed my name. I actually didn't get too many makeup products. I think I only got like two or three and the rest is just like home stuff and just random lifestyle kind of things. So I did go ahead and pick up another refill of my e.l.f. clear brow gel. I use it all the time. I use both ends for my brows. It just gives the most beautiful hold. It keeps them in place so well. I absolutely adore it. So if you're looking for a new brow gel, I highly recommend this. It's about three or $4 and it lasts me a while. If I was just using one end, it'd probably go really fast just because it's really tiny. But I absolutely love this and needed a restock. So I picked up another refill of the Tropic Glow from Tree Hut. This is just a body butter and it is so lightweight on the skin. It is so nourishing and feels literally incredible. So moisturizing and smells so great. I think I featured this in an Ulta haul and maybe a Target haul. Maybe my other Target haul or like my empties or something. I love this. And this one is the Sol de Janeiro dupe. For sure, so if you're looking for that body butter but don't wanna spend a crazy amount of money, this is so nice, it smells like summer, and even though we are about to be in fall, which your girl's ready, okay? It's not even September yet, it's the end of August, I know, but fall is just approaching and I could not be any more ecstatic. Like, anyone else feel like that right now? I'm just like, give me fall, pumpkin everything. So even though this smells like we're on a tropical island, so good. I still will be using it and I love it. Then I saw this at the little bullseye area. It was three bucks. I could not pass it up. It's a cute little camera. I thought it just went well, obviously, with my life and I'm not sure where I'm gonna put it yet. I'm usually not a fan of gold anymore like this. I still think it's super cute and I may keep it like this, but I was thinking maybe I'll spray paint it like a matte black or something. I don't know. So tiny, but it's kind of chic and kind of elegant. Couldn't pass it up because A, $3 and B, I've been looking for something like this in home goods for like two years now. So I was like, you know what? It's in front of me for $3. Let's get it. I love the brand A New Day from Target and I love their earrings. Oh my goodness. I have so many earrings, so many hoops. It's just such amazing quality and they're all about like eight, $9. So you really cannot beat it. I had to get an Another pair and I actually got another three pack this one is just those dainty kind of earrings they're in my ears right now just this little stud back here I love how dainty they are I just couldn't wait to wear it so they're already in my ears had to scoop them up I always am looking for like a daintier type of stud like this and I can never find like the perfect size either like a large diamond or like the in-between there's never like that dainty type of stud so when I saw these I had to get them I do have three holes on each side so I figured it's easy to put it in the third hole. It just looks really chic, like that curated ear. Next, I picked up another refill of the Harry Razors and I needed to get another one so desperately. I love Harry Razors. I love using a men's razor. It just gets the closest shave. It just works the best. I don't know. I just feel super smooth at the end of it. I've been using men's razors for forever and I just think that these are seriously, hands down, the best. These are literally just the blades and it's just super smooth. If you haven't tried the Harry's razor yet, go try it. Actually, my dad put me onto that razor. I started using this because he's obsessed with them and yeah, no turning back. Now into something a little bit more fun. We got this cute little vase. Oh my goodness, so my aesthetic. It's like this amber glass type of vase by the brand Hearth and Hand with Magnolia. I believe that's how you say it. Um, but this was nine bucks. I fell in love with it. I'm gonna put something in there and be like, pompous or just like something cute for fall. I love it. I think it goes really well with my decor and just my aesthetic in general. 
really cute. And then I also got this candle by the same brand. It's a soy blend candle. I thought this went so cute, like sitting next to each other and just paired together. They're a little bit off in tone. This one's a little bit more like a tan glass. And this one's a little bit more on that amber side, but oh my goodness, like I just had to scoop this up. I love it. I love the vibe and the aesthetic and I'm not sure where I'm going to place this just yet. I love this tone for fall. And the scent of this is so, so nice. It's birch and amber. Oh my goodness. It's like very rich but like a little spicy, if that makes sense. Those went so well together. So of course, couldn't leave one behind. They both had to be mine. <laughs> Another bullseye gem. We got this little glass jar that is a pumpkin jar. I fell in love with this. This was about five bucks. Absolutely perfect for my little coffee station. For my Nespresso pods to go in here, I'm gonna take off the plastic because I wanna see how it opens. I feel like this is such like heavy duty, good quality that it should be a little bit more than $5. <laughs> I absolutely love this. Oh my God, I'm putting it out tonight. I'm just gonna put my little coffee pods in there. Uh, that is perfect. I do have just a regular standard jar there now. So, so cute. You could put anything in here. You could put candy, you could put cookies, and buy your vanity, put like makeup sponges. I don't know. This is going perfect on my little coffee station. We love her, needed her. I literally scooped it up the second I walked in. I think this was the first thing I put in the basket. I was like, yep, thank you. And I picked up this from the bullseye area as well. It's just a fall pumpkin dishcloth. I love it, it comes with two. We got just regular pumpkins with some orange. You are the pumpkin to my spice. How adorable. Love switching these out like on the oven or by the sink for each holiday or season. So had to get these and these were five bucks. So you just cannot beat it. Adore the brand Stars Above from Target. I had to get these PJ pants. It feels like I'm touching a cloud. All of their other PJ pants and the way their material is made is so soft but this is like a little different. I don't even know how to describe it. It's just softer. I just cannot wait to wear these. They are wide leg. I feel like I wouldn't even have to wear these just for PJs but who knows? They have a cute little pocket and a ruching detail at the top. Literally live in my other PJs from Stars Above. And these also kind of reminded me of Skims just a little bit. Needed to get them, the tone, the way they feel, everything about them. If you haven't tried out the Stars Above collection yet, you need to get them. Like the coziest item of clothing you'll ever put on your body. I'm not even exaggerating. Instantly threw it in the basket. There was no hesitating. Picked up this double-sided mitt for self-tanning. This is the Bondi Sands self-tanning mitt. It's actually one of my favorite self-tanning mitts. I currently use this right now. I do like to self-tan at least once a week or once every two weeks. Honestly, do not get tan in the sun. I just get red. I'm Italian and my whole entire family gets like an olive -y tone. I do have an olive undertone, but my whole family does get pretty tan. And I'm over here like, but it's fine. I actually don't mind it. More of like that soft cloth kind of feeling. It's just like this. I love it. It was about like $5, I think. Next two things that I picked up are from the body care aisle. And the first one being the native hair. This is a shampoo. And this is the coconut and vanilla shampoo. I just picked up the conditioner about two weeks ago for the very first time. And when I tell you, it has quickly become my favorite conditioner. Like it is such a great conditioner. My hair gets so, so smooth and feels so hydrated and gives a beautiful shine all in one. There's no heavy feeling. It smells phenomenal. It is so great. And obviously it's a very clean brand. It's silicone free, sulfate free, paraben free, and it's thoughtfully made with 10 ingredients or less. So I love that. So I had to get the shampoo. So I'm excited to try this out. I love the smell of the coconut and vanilla. It's so fresh yet so comforting. Wanted to try it out with the conditioner. I'm sure my hair is gonna love that combo. So another body care item is gonna be from the brand Being Frenchy. This is the Lavender Cloud Renewing Body Wash. The sound of that, yes. I'm a big lavender girl. I need everything to be lavender or like that very calming scent for like nighttime. I absolutely love it. I went ahead and picked up this scent because I actually don't have this scent. I have been receiving PR from this brand, which is Ashley Tisdale's brand, and I absolutely love it. I did get the Cashmere Vanilla, and that is literally like hands down amazing, amazing scent. I've been using the hand serum, the bath bombs, the spray, everything. Like it is so, so good. I even have the candle. I went and purchased that two weeks ago as well from Target. I have been getting this in PR and I have tried the vanilla cashmere one, but I have not tried this scent. I'm so excited to use this. It's also infused with oat extracts and niacinamide. And I can tell you from experience using the other scent that it makes my body feel so incredibly smooth. The scent like lingers and it's just such a comforting, soft, kind of scent. I think Ashley Tisdale did such a good job with coming out with this line. For $1 each, we got two white ones and then a little rusty orange pumpkin. I don't know where I'm gonna put these, they're just mini little Sherpa type of pumpkins. Did I need these? Absolutely not. 
but they were $1 and I could not pass them up and they're just super cute. Elf HD powder. This is the soft luminance powder. I wanted to try it out just because I do love all their other powders. I love the halo glow setting powders, the pink powder. So I love it all. And I figured why not try it out? Apparently it's supposed to give more of like a softer type of finish. So I'm excited and intrigued to try it out. So then I picked up this cute little sign that just says hello pumpkin has these little beads right here. Definitely my aesthetic. I just love the way it's designed. And I'll probably put this maybe at my coffee station. I don't know. Uh, but yeah, you can just hang it on anything and it was a dollar. So obviously it was just instantly added to the cart. Next, I picked up these clear little risers. I have zero clue what I'm going to do with them. I really don't know, but I love anything like acrylic-y plastic situation like this. So I had to get it. I feel like these would be great if I needed to like lift my mirror, even though you can like it shows on here, like at a wedding, you put like a guest book on it, like just a cutesy little riser, maybe for like an event. But I probably would use this like with my equipment. Like if I had to raise up my camera or raise up my mirror or something on here, like while I'm filming or getting ready, something like that. I actually have something like this already. That's from the container store. It's actually for your computer. It's like a computer riser. So I kind of envisioned that when I saw these. So I had to get them. They were the last ones and they were five bucks. My last item, which I want to say is I saved the best for last. It is the cutest little thing. And you're probably going to be like, Brie, that's the best thing. It's a cute little trinket tray. I love this trinket dish. I'm sorry. It's like a stoneware kind of material to it. I think this is so cute. It literally reminds me of like Kim Kardashian's aesthetic, like just like the beige stone kind of moment. And I'm just gonna put my earrings in here, like my studs, little rings. It's very tiny, so like I can't fit a lot, but I'll just show you with like my one ring in there. Like it's tiny, but it's cute. I could not pass this up. It was $4.99. It'll probably just go on like my nightside table or I don't know, buy my fragrances and where my other jewelry is at but this is so cute and so my aesthetic. That is all for my Target haul. Those are all the items that I picked up. I feel like it was actually quite a lot. I think I got a little too carried away. Like I said, I went to a few Targets because I went to go look for that powder puff and couldn't find it. So of course, while I'm there, Target was telling me everything else that I needed. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you have not been to Target in a bit, go to Target. So I believe that is all for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching and hanging out with me today and I will see you in my next one. Bye.